Well, where did the year go? I can hardly believe it's been a year since that year in review video and that we're now at the second year. I got to admit, this one snuck up on me. It was my mother-in-law who observed that as we get older, days go by slower, but the years go faster. Totally illogical. Well, last June, I reported that we had just over 200 subscribers. I think we can all agree that I was just kind of figuring out how to do this. We took a look at some highlights. We made a few corrections. And we looked into the mailbag of some of your comments. Well, a year later, as of June 2023, I'm amazed to say we now have over 550 subscribers, more than double last year. And I've posted 15 new videos that I hope you'll agree are bringing a deeper level of study and appreciation of this great music. Well, many of you have commented positively on my score transcriptions, so for sure I will keep those as a feature. Just know that they do take some time to develop. I'm currently in pre-production of my second video of George Dooning for Return to Tomorrow. Well, this year has had some significant milestones. I've had the very good fortune of getting to know others in the Star Trek music community who have been of great help in providing, you know, uh, information and other guidance. Jeff Bond and Neil Bulk, who were co-producers of the now out of production La La Land soundtrack collection, these guys have been an enormous help, quote, in the interest of getting correct historical information, unquote. Meaning, I was getting some incorrect information. Well, Neil and Jeff, rather than kicking me out of the saloon, Well, they've been wonderful to come alongside my little project, providing accurate information and supporting materials. I just can't say enough thanks to these two guys. And Juilliard music professor Andy Farber is so gifted and knowledgeable, a veteran composer, conductor for the Star Trek Continues series, and just a great guy to chat with. He has shared with me some of his personal library which is a superb reference material. And he also helped me to get into contact with a true hero, the last living original series composer, Gerald Freed. Maestro Freed graciously replied to my emails with short but sincere words. In February, I posted my video on his score for Friday's Child, remember? And I took the liberty of sharing that link with Jerry. Late on February 14th, I received his reply. DP, thanks for sending. I loved it. Best Jerry. Well, next day, I replied with thanks, wishing him a, a belated happy 95th birthday, but I received no response. I learned later that he had passed away on February 17th. Well, there were so many comments left this year, I can't recap them all, but keep them coming. One notable comment was from, get this, the granddaughter of Star Trek composer Saul Kaplan. She wrote that he had died two years before she was born, so she never knew him. But she knew of his sense of character, the way he stood up for himself during the McCarthy era. She was able to connect with his memory in a way that she hadn't before. Well, such an honor to hear from this Trek fan. Oh, and I love this one. I've long thought of Star Trek not as a power trio of Kirk, Spock, and McCoy, but a power quartet, Kirk, Spock, McCoy, and the music. Well, initially I thought I might find a handful of musicians who felt as I do about these timeless scores, but it's clear that some non-musicians are also on board. 
Now, while I wouldn't say that I was a genius by any means, I was touched by this comment, saying, by ably explaining to those of us not able to read music the complexities, juxtapositions, and variables in how composers create music. Well, and apparently, a teacher has used these videos also, saying, this has been a great help in explaining to students how essential music is to a movie or a TV show. Folks, what we're doing here is truly the internet at its best. And I just want to express appreciation to you for your interest and encouragement, sharing your knowledge and stories. Well, another recent comment asked if anyone had George Dooning's magnificent Return to Tomorrow score in isolation. I'm particularly looking for the Risk is Our Business passage. Well, it took some doing, but here is my transcription video that includes a short tracked intro cue from Dooning's prior work on Metamorphosis, which is then followed by Kirk's philosophy, or Risk is Our Business. I'm in command. I could order this, but I'm not. Okay, well, I don't think I will exhaust all the music of Star Trek in the next year. And looking back, I realize we've only scratched the surface of Alexander Courage's enormous volume of work for the series. So I really want to go back to some of his early material and deep dive cues like Dr. Bartender and Situation Grave. Such great music. Well, as we all know, the series often had physical confrontations, so I thought about devoting one video just to the outstanding fight combat music from the show. <laughs> And we have yet to touch on Jerry Fielding's work, which should move us finally into season three with more music from Dooning, Steiner, Freed, and Courage. So that's where we're heading. I hope you'll continue to stick around. Thanks for another year. See you soon. <laughs>